a welcome <laughs> to Impressive. week 13 okay. in review. Uh, week 13? Yeah, it is week 13. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me share out my screen. Uh, let's go to share. Dog sitting or something? No, somebody's dog's loud. You can, uh, hear, you can hear that, huh? I can. Nice. That microphone's picking up everything. Okay, now how do I, dang it, pull this out so I can, there we go. Let's do that and present. Bada bing. All right, perfect. Okay, first up, can you see that? I can see it indeed, my friend. Okay, okay first up, we've got a, oh gosh, spousal abuse. I apologize. <laughs> I take down Malibu Stacy's 149.6. Put my glasses on to 115. Poor Dawn has had a rough end of season. I believe she was on a three-game losing streak or mm. is on one now. It mm. just has not worked out for her. Let's look at her scores. She got plenty from Geno Smith. Boy, we were both looking good coming off a of Thursday. Mm -hmm. Holy Toledo. Yeah, you with but, Metcalf, uh, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we already talked about some of this, didn't we? Yeah, we we, we did. So let's let's we'll, let's move this along, and then we'll get into okay, the Okay, yeah, updates. this game was pretty much over by the time we did our video last time. Which was, uh, two yeah, big Sunday. scores, Geno Smith and TK Metcalf, just went off. Other than that, nothing really much to write home about. Uh, 149, like I said, and a half to 115. Sorry, babe. She may be officially eliminated. We'll cover that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. It was a tough game for uh, Dawn. Like you said, she's been on a losing streak and good game for you, continuing to win and dominate. Uh, I don't know how. I, I don't know how. I, hey, man, this might be your year. Let's 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 not jinx nothing. it. I got nothing. All right, nothing. let's okay, move on. Okay, next up, we've got Dallas Hurts. So close. And the regional acid flashback. I have so, questions. <laughs> This is, yeah, many question marks on this one. So we had nothing but marquee. Well, first, let's talk about who won. And even with all of these missteps, it was tight. But gosh, if Cat had started anybody, she probably could have won. That's she what I'm thinking. Like I'd like to know why she didn't points. grab uh, uh, that defense that was there. Like you said, Cincinnati was there. I haven't checked that score. You could look it up or we could look it up after this. But how do you not start even a defense? I don't know. But... Does she end up paying the price? One thirty-three point nine to one thirty point nine. She falls to the occasional acid flashback. Talking about a team who's having the opposite effect mm -hmm. of Malibu Stacy's finishing the year uh, well, despite though a combined negative two from the Cowboys, who normally go mm -hmm. off, and Tank Dell, who, like I've been talking about the last few weeks, you gotta love that name and his scores. He was projected to get 17, so he was supposed to get almost 30 and got negative 2. Still didn't hurt him, though. He still won with 40.2 from Debo Samuel and a combined 60-something from Joe Mix and a Dak Prescott, which we did cover last week. But well, it was still well, we covered part done. of it. Yeah. I think we covered some of it because I think the Jacksonville-Cincinnati game was on Monday night. That was the debacle That's that correct. led to my demise, and so we didn't have Joe Mixon. But, yeah, the story here, again, no defense for Cat. We need an explanation on that one. And poor Tank Dell. They put him as run support on this. You know, they were faking. They, they ran out the wide receivers, but they went with a run, which was fine. But somebody rolled up on him. He broke his fibula out for the season. Bummer, because oh he's been because he's been having a great season. It was like they're going to question yeah. putting those the, the, the those high priced or those high talented wide receivers in on those plays. Let's move on and uh, keep it rolling. We got Todd versus Terry, and Terry's down week, shall we say? Uh, yes, we shall. And she even mentioned it to me on uh, text that she mm. had a lot of problems. That uh, she definitely did. She fell. Uh, 166 and a half to 102 and a half. Basically, Todd with a very nice score of 166.46. And the poor guy's out of playoffs, I mm -hmm. believe. Uh, well, Look at yeah, these yeah. scores. Jordan Love finally no, coming through. No, I think Todd might be clawing his way back in. Let's get to that later, but keep going. I was going to mention that. That's another reason why I said ESPN sucks earlier yeah. today. Mm -hmm. Because it said that. Okay, yeah. anyway. Jordan Love gets almost 30. Isaiah Pacheco, 23. He's got 24 from Devonta Smith, 20 from the Jets. Holy Toledo. And he may even, well, maybe not. There's Damian Pierce. If he started him instead of Jaden Reed, I bet he would have got that perfect start award <laughs> that that site gives out. But yeah. we shall see. On the flip side, the gentlemen four quarterlies have a couple of bright spots, not many. 24 and a half from James Conner and almost 18 from Travis Etienne and 14 from her kicker. But... That being said, the Jaguars only got one, yeah. and uh, Logan Thomas only got two, and McLaurin, nothing. 
Yeah. A rough day for those guys. And on her bench, absolutely zero points. So but, she did the right thing. Right, just, but but uh, but but you mentioned her bench, and her bench is the where the majority of her scoring comes from. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, but even with that, she still scored over a hundred. Heck, I haven't I've had games where I haven't made a hundred with all my starters. So congrats yeah, to you, know. Terry. Shut up. Let's move on to Nick's <laughs> picks versus Greggy uh, Weggy. Okay, man, talk about a tough week. Poor Greg oh. gets 82 and a half The week I needed you to win, Greg. Picks. What the hell? Who's, who ends up getting about 137. Let's take a look. For Greg, decent day from Jalen Hurts, 26 points pretty much. Uh, Montgomery, not sure why you highlighted him. He still fell a little bit short. Did he get hurt or something? Um, I don't think he did. I think I just highlighted him because he didn't have too many high scores to highlight. So I was just trying to oh, give him, okay. give him, okay. hey, this is what pro, this is what made your at least eighty-two okay, points. Okay, okay. So we got Deontay Johnson who did at least what he was supposed to, which can't be said for Juwan Jahansan, uh, Kareem Hunt, <laughs> Greg Dortch. Those guys combined for ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then Chris Boswell, the kicker, only mm. four. Rough day. Looking at his bench, though, he couldn't have done much. Everybody no. was on a bye. Yeah. So he he had kind of Terry's situation where yep. most of his high scoring guys, with the yeah, Devonte Adams, Hawkinson, sure, yeah, mm-hmm. and maybe mm-hmm. one other, yeah, is out. On the flip side, uh, Patrick Mahomes doesn't do much. Fourteen points. That's not great. But Chuba Hubbard and Mike Evans come in to save Chuba the day Hubbard, holy with cow, more than fifty yeah. something points between them. Mm-hmm. And then looking the rest of the way down, not a ton. No. But that was enough. One thirty seven to one twenty four takes down Greg. Uh, let's see, Goff. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to yeah, start Goff over but, Mahomes. No, you're not He's his backup. Start him yeah. Over. So yeah, so he did fine. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, very nice, Nick. Boo. Uh, oh God. Let's move on to this one, right. Mister. You're doing Larry great. Sellers is Homer. Boy, this Calvin is a Ridley. Tough one. This was an interesting matchup because was it? You, yeah, it was because you start. Not only is it maybe one of the ultimate grudge matches. Mm. Uh, you, you know. Uh, it started out, you were pissing and moaning on Sunday morning about how bad your team was. And then in the afternoon, I look, and you're killing them. And then here we come on into Monday night. Poor oh. Matty puts up a decent score of 168, which would have beat most of the teams this week. But However, not the guy not played. played <laughs> yep. Log Jam and puts up another monster, mm. 188.62 to 168.2. Mm-hmm. Kenny Pickett didn't do you any favors. I think he got hurt. He only got yeah. 3.1. Yeah, he got hurt. And Calvin Ridley. That's the guy I'm really mad at. Uh, Calvin Ridley. 7.3. But look at the contributions from Kamara. Yeah, I Kyron know. Williams, no, everybody else was great. Brown, I get all Sam that. Sam Laporta, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Shane, they all scored over 20. But it don't matter uh, when you're playing Jay and Flipping Jamar Chase on Monday night? Are you kidding me? Thirty-five points. Give me a flipping break. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. And Evan well, Ingram. Yeah, he had two last going. Week we said anything could happen. You yeah. Know, okay. Jamar let's Chase move on from this. Yes. Yes. Anything can happen. Let's go on to Wing Leader Thirteen and Sanchez Nuts. Okay. Uh, Wing Leader Thirteen picked a great week. To struggle, I know she had Barkley on a bye, OBJ on a bye, and Justin she didn't Herbert, get much from Pooh DeAndre Pooh. Swift, Cade Otten, who Otten be on her lineup anymore, and Adam Thielen <laughs> again, not Thielen, Thielen for no. the second week in a row, five point five, or maybe it's the first week in a row. We're reading the score. No, again. it's been I second, know. I think. Yeah. Okay, so twenty though from the Texans, thirty from Michael Pittman, and decent days from Stroud. I, Decent, not great, uh, from Tony Pollard as mm-hmm. well. On the flip mm-hmm. side, Mark Sanchez, Juggernauts. Juggernaut is an accurate name for this team. For this sure. Week, good Lord. He sticks with Brock Purdy and who really comes back for him this week mm-hmm. and with a vengeance, almost 40 points. Eckler, good Lord almighty, 4.7. Kev, not sure what to do there. He was projected to get 18, did practically, uh, what, a fifth? Maybe a sixth of what he was mm-hmm. supposed to do. Not great. Brees Hall, not great. 10.5. But you got Christian Watson for 27.6. You got 20 out of Ferguson and White. You got a combined 60 from Nico Collins and the Falcons. D. Who, you astutely pointed out that he picked up yep. off the wire of the peak the week before and immediately put mm-hmm. them to work. Right Almost one. puts up basically a 200, 200 burger. burger. Mm-hmm. Way to go, Kev. Very nice end of your season as well. Yeah, nicely done. And uh, yeah, Wing Leader 13, you lose this one and now I get to face you next week. So I don't think you're going to make that same mistake twice. Let's get to the breakdown of the standings. I going to come back. I know, especially after I talk trash. Yes, I'm in trouble. Right. 
let's take a look at this. And again, I don't think we should pay too much attention to these yeah. standings glossary because mm-hmm. they never figured it out. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Brockway, Camp Krusty, despite having nearly an average team, <laughs> is doing well at 8-5. I'm trying reverse psychology. I'm trying to talk down <laughs> on my team so they continue to perform. Nice. And we've got a very interesting development going on beneath me, which there's always something interesting going on beneath me. Dallas Hurts. Well, wait a minute, Todd's wait a minute, wait a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Go back up to yours. So I think what Todd was going to be eliminated, we thought he was eliminated, but I think because uh, Kat lost those games, now she's now he's only one game back. Now, granted, he has to beat, he has to win, she has to lose, right? Um, and then and he has to get break. a ton of points, like a ton of points to get over whatever she has. So it's Is not... Is that the tie break? It's, not it's like so, division so, games? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think that's what Jason put in the thing today. So I don't think he's out of it yet. So I just want to say that I think Todd is now back in the hunt. So this this Even next week, it says eliminated. yeah, I know. I think that's ESPN being screwed up. I'm sorry. Continue on to North to North Haverbrook. Okay, so as I said, Brockway uh, a battle for second place between mm-hmm. siblings, if I'm not mistaken. So yes. that is exciting. Ogdenville mm. next picks at eight and five. Could Very be anybody's over mm-hmm. there. And Log Jammin and Larry Sellers are both tied. Mm. Now this is going to be interesting. So. If you both win and Nick loses, then we'd all be tied. all tied. And what does it come to points? Come to points, yep. Mm-hmm. Woo! Okay, and points aren't even on here, so I don't even no, know where sorry. it is. Yeah. Very exciting over there in Ogdenville. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should have mentioned both. Yeah, I did. Both you and Jay, both at yep. seven and six. Very competitive Jeez. over there. Speaking of competitive, here's another one North Haverbrook. Mm-hmm. First through third, separated by one lowly game. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, four quarterlies, despite having a rough go of it here in the last few weeks still finds herself alone at the top at seven and six and a two-way tie from the brothers the mm-hmm. occasional acid flashback at six and seven finishing the near the year quite nicely mm-hmm. tied with his brother the i hate the effing eagles who's come off a couple of rough weeks Ain't over for anybody. Nope. Uh, very exciting. We are coming into, well, I'll save that, that uh, observation in yeah. a moment. And let's go and look at wah, 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 Springfield. Wait. Oh, sorry. Springfield. We got wing leader 13 alone at the top with still the league leading record of yep. nine and four. She's won 70% of her games, it looks like. Uh, Mark Sanchez juggernauts mm-hmm. picked. The right time to put his foot on the pedal. He's guaranteed himself a shot. Yeah, he's in. That uh, division is pretty much settled. So uh, what I was going to say is we're going into the last week of the regular season. Correct. And still so much to be decided. Very exciting. It's been like that all year. Yeah, you say exciting because you're already in it, and it doesn't matter to you. Those that are in it, we'd much rather trade places with you, Jerky. Oh, I'm excited to watch. Let's move on to the notes. Right, so we have Mark Sanchez, Jerkinus, as we said, with the 200 points. They gave him the round and up one bottom of the pile. Uh, Wasn't the finest week, as we know, the 82. They gave him the 83 round and up for for Mr. Greg. Bragging rights, again, Mark Sanchez, Jerkinus. 70 point swing that might be the biggest one of the of the season 70 points i don't know if anybody's no, beat I don't that think stretch so. your game against dawn i think it was like 86 or really something like okay that. i i didn't think it, it was, was that something much. like that yeah all right a bad beat touchdown could have made all the difference as we know with dallas hurts I again know. yeah yeah we uh, talked about that yes one. Okay. we did lucky break occasional acid flashback occasional acid flashback finished five and six in all play but still got the win here's mine not so lucky broken several mirrors in an all play <laughs> nine and two not enough to beat the big Lebowski, excuse me, Bunny Lebowski's uh, log jamming with uh, those points, and then sharpshooter, as you said. I hate the Evan Eagles, like you said, he nailed it with the accuracy. So you you called that one in the claims department. A uh, lot of me out there, but only one real contest, <laughs> and that Look was with uh, you got Russell Wilson for eleven bucks. That's okay. He wasn't my first pick; he was my second. Um, but I'm glad I got my <laughs> Minshew back, <laughs> just in case. How many picks did you put in this week? A few. <laughs> The Packers, the Lions, the Chargers. You've got one, two, three. That's another eight, nine, ten? Yeah, something like that. 
all for zero dollars. Zero. I got all my guys. Look at that. I spent twenty three on Zeke, and Zeke. nobody else did on him. I know you sucker. I've had him twice this year, and you got him for twenty three. I got it for nothing. Take that. Let's move on to the big ones. Okay, so this is um, a must win for Terry, but not for you. And obviously, these haven't updated because you got your guys, and she's going to have her guys coming off a of bye. So I've this already, will. I've already fixed my lineup. Well, great. I'm ready to okay, go. I didn't. I did this earlier in the day, so that's why it's going to look yeah, like that's this. Okay. But but so okay. so As this one. Said, a must win for Terry. So for yeah. you, it's just going to be more of a fun game. But for her, it's like do or die. She needs to win this to guarantee that she's going to make it into the. If she wins, I think she's in. I think that's what she needs to do. So let's hope for her bills. In. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Go off, and I, I wish I had more on that one. Let's move on to the next well, one. Well, not that you guys would ever accuse me of it, but I think you saw last week I put in my strongest lineup. Yes, yes, yes. You wife, didn't. And I will right. do the same thing with my sister. Yeah, no, I know you're not going to tank for, for anybody no, in no, there. No, no, so. no, 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 no. All right, and we've got the occasional flashback going up against, uh, oh, look at big this. Big one. This, this is, is a uh, big match. Uh, you know, uh, under, under the proverbial same roof, as it were, going up against Nick's picks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Definite implications on this game. Mm-hmm. It's a win and he's in for um, Joe, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, right? win and he's in for Joe. Or and it'll be close. and, it'll and be now close. Nick, Nick can technically lose, but I don't know his points, so I'm sure he wants to win too, just to be in for sure. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, no, this is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, some uh, lots of question marks on some of these players. Lots of lots of red on this one. We got Rashid Shahid. He would never be on my team. <laughs> Justin Jefferson with. <laughs> Would you say George Tyler Jefferson? With another Q, oh, so. is Justin yeah. Jefferson going to be back? Wow, that'll be interesting because Minnesota had that crappy game against uh, Chicago where Josh Dobbs came back is to this Earth. Is his first game back? And this looks like I think they're saying Justin might be his first game back. So that's going to be a big question mark. And the same thing with Dallas. Uh, I was going to say Dallas Prescott. Dak Prescott, same thing, going up against Philly. Again, another division foe. Philly lost. Unbelievable. Philly Unbelievable lost. Unbelievable if Justin uh, Jefferson comes back mm-hmm. for Joe, who's had mm-hmm. just an amazing end. And, and what if he carries him all the way to the championship, up, and then right? And gets him back. Right? Wouldn't that he, be crazy? He's guy. You yeah, never know. that would be guy. that would be a crazy run if he gets him back and he's like the key to to, to winning it all. That would be right? that would be quite the uh, Cinderella story for Joseph. Has Joe won? No, I think he might be one of the few that hasn't won it all. Oh, oh, okay. We'll have to check that, but I'm almost positive he hasn't won. I'm sure somebody will correct me, but I know his brother's won, but I don't think he's ever won. So. Yeah, let's okay. move on to the next one. We got oh Maybe sweet Jesus, here. look who I face. Okay. Death herself so, has come for me. An absolute must win. Jesus. Now, Matthew, I will say, looking at your team. Look at my average. You've got to love those average points. Yeah, they don't mean you have jack to love that. squat unless it happens on the day of is what I need. Lamar, you better be bringing it, pal. I don't want a four-point Lamar game. I need the 22 or 30 or 40 Lamar. You've got you've got a, a, a bunch of overachievers. I look great yeah. on paper. You know the irony of this if entire season? Me. The entire season's irony was I drafted all these great wide receivers, and that was going to be the core of my team, plus Lamar. Lamar has been up and down like a flipping roller coaster, and two out of my four receivers have been so down in the tank that they've only had a couple of good games. So that whole thing I'd thrown out... Somehow, I end up with Kyron Williams and Devon A. Chain, these huge running backs that nobody yeah, yeah, saw yeah. coming. They've know, been more I contributing know. to my team. I know. And same with What a crazy Sam. season. Now, here's, here's what I find interesting about Sam's team mm-hmm. is, although you have a higher average, mm-hmm. look at her position ranking. Oh, my gosh. I know. Mm-hmm. The worst one is Saquon Barkley mm-hmm. as a running back. How bad so is that? Everybody right. Everybody else mm-hmm. is better than 18th mm-hmm. that's crazy that's crazy pretty damn impressive uh, so this is going to be an interesting one it's absolute must win for you Ugh. doesn't matter doesn't whatsoever. matter for her she's just playing for with house Sam, money so yeah who cares uh it's going to be an interesting one for sure okay we've got like you said perhaps uncle todd's not quite out of it yet uncle todd going up against the malibu stacy's this is his chance you know he's going off the going mm-hmm. up against the team who's had a really rough go of it lately. Uh, Cooper Cup, what a disappointment this mm-hmm. year. Uh, terrible. Geno Smith's been a surprise to me, as is Gibbs and a couple of these other guys, like Kittle she loves and Bijan. I mean, she's got players. It's just they're unpredictable. You yeah. Know? Uh, she has a yeah. chance to play spoiler to Todd's any chance of coming back, but Todd has a chance it, to, it to go happen. up. And Todd's, Todd, Todd picking up Jordan Love, 
and using him the last few weeks, he's really come alive in points wise. So he's really been great, and obviously Pacheco's been good for him too. But I mean, this could be a big game for Todd. So I, I, I don't count him out at all. He could definitely come up with those points, and it would be interesting to see how that rolls. You know, another name we've said a lot on Todd's team is Chris Olave. Sure, who's great year. Averaging, you know, over 15 points, and he's the 16th uh, wide receiver. Nobody would have guessed that. And now uh, I don't know if it's going to be Carr starting because Carr was hurt last week, and then Winston came in. And I believe Jameis Winston screws me because I don't think he throws to Alvin Kamara as much as Carr did, but he really, I think, helps Olave. And so there might be a big boost in Olave's numbers this week if it's Winston who gets the nod to go. Now, not that Todd should listen to a damn thing that I say, but I only see one gaping hole in his team, and you and I know exactly who it is. Uh, let's just say his play is in the pits. Uh, other than that, really liking his team. Looking at Malibu Stacey's, again, like I said, I like this team with the exception of she's got too many Denver players, and that's never good. No. She's got a couple of them out mm-hmm. there. And she got Cooper Cup on the absolute worst year. Who would if, – if I would have told you – Cooper Cup was going to be the 55th yeah, wide no, receiver this no. year. Would you have believed that? For no, I mean even coming off that, that, even coming off that injury, I thought it might I take him. I thought I, but, but, but no, no, but I thought it might take him a couple of weeks, maybe you know, part of the season to get back. But then he'd be the same Cooper Cup that we all knew. But yeah. that just hasn't happened. I think it's, I think uh, it's a combination of that um, and some other guys on the team playing well that maybe they've limited him. Who knows what it's going to be going into well, next year. You know, I, I I will give you that on the player ranking, but the average doesn't lie. The no. average takes just the games he played, mm-hmm. so the entry didn't impact any of that. No, or his being no, 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 or it would be huge, and right? He's right. Averaging eleven point eight, that's terrible. That's pretty bad for Cup. Get that land. from anybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next game. Good Moving luck on to those teams. We it's got, non, I hate it's the. It's a non-issue English. for. Sorry, before we go on oh. again, a non-issue for for Don. Mm-hmm. A must win for right. Don. And this one is okay. the, almost every game this week is a must win for somebody at least on one side of it. Here comes another one for both sides that are must wins, right? And again, sorry, right. the Dallas yeah. hurts. I'm sure they're going to update it, but um, but yeah. I so. hope so because right now that's looking like a vintage Johnny fingers <laughs> uh, lineup over there. Yeah, the we right. don't need Johnny sliding into this with missing, <laughs> missing, missing a bunch of stuff. That's good. good that's Lord. a good callback, Johnny fingers. There's more gashes over there than the freeway, for heaven's sake. <laughs> yeah, Very thank nice. you. Thank you. Very hey, nice. like you said, here's two teams that must win. Neither team scoring a lot lately, but if you look at these uh, projections as guys who are out, so mm-hmm. you really can't tell just yet who's going to win or lose this one. But this is definitely one to focus on. Yeah, there's a lot of other, you know, must a lot of must wins actually. Yeah, you know, no, this this whole week's going to be must be wins. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty exciting, and in almost every game, even though it might not matter for one, the other one really matters. matters, Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. For most definitely, and then we end up with Mark Sanchez juggernauts and log jam. Here we go. Go Sanchez! I'm rooting for Clemens this week. Two juggernauts. (laughs) Yeah, this is two teams who are doing extremely well right now. Both the yeah, look at those averages. Look uh, at Jay's average uh, and his projections. They're right on top of each other. Yeah, right. No, he's got it. He's got it, and he's got you know he's got McCaffrey. I love that model guy. I always mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. Uh, Ayuki, Chase. You know all these guys are coming on. Same with you know Kev. Kev has turned some of his homer picks into very nice players. Brock Purdy for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, he picked up a Falcons. I mean that's on his his starting lineup. And he just got him, and he they dominated last week. So yeah, well he may uh, change him. You never know. To see. Because, you know, while while I say that, there are a few guys who might be a little streaky, kind of yeah. like a, mm-hmm. uh, a Lamar for you. We mm-hmm. got, you know, Brees Hall could go off mm-hmm. or not. Uh, Flowers, same thing. I've yep. seen these guys like Nico Collins go off and then do not so much. So, yeah. And, yeah, Nico very, very going up against the Jets. That might be tough. That might be a tough matchup for that that, yeah. that good Jets defense. And, you know, hats off to, to Jason because he gets the overall number one pick, right? So yeah. he can go – or did he get it? Was it him or Todd? I, can't, I think it was him. So he can go, you know, Jamar. I don't have to look back because I know he was hoping to get CMC because it was going to be either Jefferson or or CMC or maybe Chase or maybe somebody after that. But, boy, did he get the right overall number one pick with McCaffrey because, boy, is, oh, yeah. he has really been the anchor to his team. So nicely done with that one. Good scouting yeah, there. Not that we need to be told that Christian McCaffrey is good, but there's always that chance he might get injured. Who knows what's going to happen with the Niners? So, well, not only that, but he hasn't been long with it. that program. 
when when some of these marquee players switch teams, yeah. sometimes you know they don't do that well. Yeah. So, uh, but they have uh, for them that that's going to be a fun one too because that matters uh, to those teams as well. Jay and you, yeah. both you guys need a win. So all of these games matter, even though they might not for both. Uh, there are playoff implications across the board. Most def, yeah. And I'm going to put out a thing tonight to the uh, to the league after I post this, asking, because I think I dropped it last week as a, as a question, maybe in here, about are we going to get together this weekend or maybe next weekend for a December get-together? I think I think Joe City was up for that. I don't know who else is, but I know Terry couldn't make the last one because of another commitment. Hopefully she can make it out for this one because we'd love to see her and as many as the as many of the folks that would like to get together, that would be fun. Um, yeah. So we'll Christmas see what we can do for that. Yeah, that, that would be yeah. fun. And and talk about a week to do it, right? We're all still alive. No one's out yet. Well, I mean, no one's other than your wife, but she's not here, is technically out of the game. So we're all still yes, in it. So yes. we would all be very exciting to watch it as it went down live. Uh, she's over it already. So it's not going to be, you know, a suicide watch. She understands. It's been a yeah. rough year. At least one is still in it. So well, and, gonna... and, and, and again, for those that do make the toilet bowl, I may be amongst them very soon. Um, you're not playing for nothing. You're playing for your draw spot next year. So if you win that, you get to at least choose where you want to draw um so it's not it's uh, the so the uh, the uh, battle is not over yet right um, yeah 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 there's should, still stuff to play for should yeah. be some interesting games i can't remember is this the first year or maybe it's the second year that now we've had this weird schedule where it went from 17 games in the season to 18 games so we have the playoffs starting one week later because it used to be week 13 um was the what well I thought week 13 used to be like the start of our playoffs. I but can't I, remember. Yeah, it's 14 it, this anyway, year, though. I know that. Yeah, it's yeah, 14 more, this year. So One more regular season yep. week left. Let me ask you this sure. before we sign off. So last week, mm-hmm. we, I asked you a very interesting series of questions. Yeah. You gave me the same answer for both, even I know. though they're opposite. But let's see if it's changed. Okay. Who is your one week and out team for playoffs this year? That means... A team that's going to go in and immediately get out. I can't change it from last week, even if I curse myself doing it. I'm still picking Sam. But you can't pick her to win if you pick her to be out. That's two different things. No, 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 no. No, yeah, no. last week you picked her to win the whole thing and oh, I know. you picked her to okay, lose that. after one week. Well, well, that's what's going to happen to her. Either she's going to win the whole thing or she's going to well, be out in the first or. week. Okay, yes, but, it's an either right. or. So, yeah, either or, fine. Besides Sam, who... <laughs> who who either wins this thing or I'll let you pick. Oh, well, it has to be. Sam, if, I'm going to pull a Kevin. It, it has out. to be me. If I go. somehow if I somehow pull this huge upset and beat Sam, not like she beat me before. I haven't even won. I've never won against this lady this 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 season. If I somehow pull the big thing out, I'm going to be so high off that the next week. <laughs> and it's all going to be like, what the hell was all I right. even worried about? I like that. It's a very I'm selfish pick, but, well but, but, but that's my... me. Week, you know, one week and then out. I'm picking myself. And I would my, hope it would be Jason, if not me, just because I'm so sick of him beating me. Well, I will tell you this. My taking it the whole way, last week I said tear. Okay. And it's still a good pick, but I got to say, there are some teams who are peaking at the right time right now. When you look at Jay, yep. Kevin mm-hmm. Clemens. Mm-hmm. Harry's still leading, and I think she's going to bounce back. I think mm-hmm. she's got all of her bad games behind her. Mm-hmm. And you got Sam. I mean, you got teams. And Joe. Joe. And Joe. And Joe, Joe. out of nowhere. There's some powerhouses. Could so be a big, I'm big, you. big I matchup. I think both you and I are out week one. Yeah. going to call that now. <laughs> and then my, uh, you know, I got to say, it's going to be one of those teams we mentioned. They're, they're just, and then you got, who's got Justin Jefferson coming back? I is that, uh, think that's that? Joe, right? Didn't we uh, say yeah, that was Joe, Joe? I think you're right. I think you're. Just, I mean, yeah, that could be huge. Game over. Huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. could be awesome. So yeah, so that's should it, it should make for a fun, uh, fun, uh, what you call it, a uh, fun playoffs, playoffs for sure. Postseason and and again, and, yeah. I don't think we've ever had a season. Where there have been this many teams still in it in the last yeah. week, this has been the craziest season for sure, and I by agree. far the the only one that I can remember. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody on that watches this, uh, where so many teams are still alive in the last oh, week of the season, it like you said, normally there's at least one or two teams that yeah. have just run the table, and then there's a couple teams that have never won anything or barely won a couple games, and then the rest are kind of in the middle and they're kind of going back and forth, fighting for it. But yeah. this time to have everybody except for literally Don 
Spawn and a couple people that already made it for sure in. That's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. It's definitely the most competitive year we had. And going back to your number of weeks, I think you're right because we all still give you grief for being like 10 and 2 or 10 and 3 and mm-hmm. then losing. So I mm-hmm. think you're right. I think it wasn't quite this long. I think 14's nice. Oh, well, it's nice. Uh, uh, it more time like, playing you know, is, is is always better. That's the, that, that's why yeah, I always like yeah. that. Is because yeah, that's that's the fun. Is every week you're not quite over. You got a little bit more to go. So yeah, the more the the more the merrier on on the weeks to play. But yeah, this should yeah. be a, a wild and woolly weekend uh, rolling into it. And uh, some people are gonna make it. It's gonna be the the what was what was the ABC one? The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. That's Most right. that's definitely right. this weekend. There'll be a lot of yelling yelling and crying. That's for sure. So. I'm excited. All right, this has been a short video, so I'm going to throw one more at you. Go for it. we got like so eight minutes left. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. At ten minutes almost. Yeah, nine minutes. Yeah. Not that anyone cares, but as far as NFL teams go, mm-hmm. any any comments from you about either your homer team, what Pitt is doing? I know they're struggling no, with their I quarterback. Could... I could situation. I could do a whole hour on Pitt and their struggles and how bad we're playing. That's, or San that's, Francisco or uh, Dallas. What teams you know, that I th- are near, dear to the league's heart? Well, do you have I any think for? I think the top teams that are playing right. You've got San Francisco, uh, Dallas, um, Philly. Um, uh, who else is is tops tops right My, now? Is Miami still doing? Yeah, well? Yeah, Miami's pretty dang good. I would say. Um, Trying to think of some other big scoring teams. I mean, Houston's made some noise in the AFC South. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Kansas City always. Kansas City, Kansas City, right? They're always playing well. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think of somebody else in the West Coast. Who's the quarterback in Minnesota now? Josh Dobbs. He was a cast okay, off from. It's Dobbs. Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah. so he's not terrible. So that Jefferson. Oh, Detroit's back, been good. playing really well. Detroit's been playing really well this year with golf. Oh, they, Detroit. Okay. They've lost to a couple of good teams, though. So who knows if they're going to get just trounced come the playoff time. But um, teams that I would like to see go far, I'd love to see Miami go far just because they're fun to watch, right? Tyreek and you got Tua and all those guys. Yeah, um, and and I think it's so funny because you, you look back to Tua last year and those two horrible concussions, the one where he's twitching on the field. And yeah. this year he's doing great. I mean, it's it, yeah. it, it's it's amazing. Um, I'd love to see Detroit, like I say, go far. Um, yeah, I, I always kind of like the 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 underdog teams when it comes to the playoffs, right? Oh, Bills, you know they've they've kind of had an up and down year. They haven't been as good as they have been, but um, I would love to see underdogs win. Obviously, no one wants to see Dallas win. They need to lose quick. They need to be out in the first round uh, because I'm sick of them winning this year. I'm tired of Dallas winning. Uh, Philly, I, I I don't know. I'm 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 ambivalent about it. Doesn't really matter. San Francisco, be nice to see them back in it um, because they were in that Super Bowl against Baltimore where they had Kaepernick and it was versus Flacco and they barely lost that one. They were right on the edge of winning at the end. So that's got to be heartbreaking for them. So I'm sure having CMC, Kyle Shanahan, Brock Purdy, and his you know story yeah. of of his rise, Phoenix like rise, th- that would be fun to watch uh, going to the Super Bowl. I, I think it'd be great if. So, I would like to see a a an NFC a Dallas NF, yeah championship NFC. game right yeah, to see who goes good. to Super Bowl yeah. that would be great. Um, yeah. And, and then, then in, the in the AFC, who would be in the championship game? I'd love. To see, I'd like to see Kansas City bounce. And I'd like to see them go out early. I don't want to see them go. I'm tired of Mahomes. Uh, yeah. So I would like to see. Let's make it. Is my, it Miami? Is Miami? The let's AFC? make it Miami. And God, who's another AFC team that's been? Oh, maybe not. Not Baltimore. I don't want to root for somebody in my own damn division. Um, who are some other AFC teams that are really good this year? I'd have to look at the the list. I should know this off the top of my head, but I can't. Think of the other AFC. It's, it's the NFC that's got a bunch of good teams, right? That's Detroit. That's all those guys. Um, Philly. Is that Philly NFC as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know who I'd like to see. I guess if I had a dream, it would be fun to see maybe Miami and Houston. I'm sure Amer- I'm sure the networks wouldn't like that because they'd be like, who the hell's in yeah, Houston? But to care. watch C.J. Stroud, that first-year quarterback, do so well there. Nico Collins having a great year. Um, that would be fun. And I think that's a first-year coach there too. The I think he's the coach from – he was the Niners defensive coordinator i believe uh and it'd be neat to see him do well there i i, I would like to see that that would be kind well, of cool. the draw would be that cowboys niners match at that oh my gosh yeah for sure for sure I, everybody wants to see them meet and we'll see how it all you know sh- shuffles out in the end um 
stoked about all that, though. What about you? Any teams have surprised you, or one that you have? Maybe Indianapolis. What? How crazy would it be if Minshew somehow snuck into the playoffs and they got in somehow? Because that's another coach. That's Shane Steichen. He's got crap to play to, 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 on his roster. Somehow he keeps winning. He keeps beating these guys, and they're like, "How is this happening?" You know, I I uh, I find myself rooting for underdogs, and they never. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when they never Cincinnati win? came so close. Oh, yeah. I thought, oh, that'd be cool. That didn't happen. And mm-hmm. So I don't know. And as you know, I'm not a huge follower no. of the NFL. I follow no. players, mm-hmm. but not much for teams. I, For me, I would like to see a matchup of the Niners and Dallas only because there's lots of history there. They're both playing really well. It kind of is. I mean, even though they're not, I mean, I, I don't know. Are they considered rivals? I don't know. Who's but that? It's just going back. You know, uh, Dallas and the Niners. Oh yeah, they uh, are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I Sim- like Sim- simply yeah. because of the history. Even though they're not in the same division, they're both in the NFC, right, and they've right. had major games. I mean, think of the catch. Right, that one still made Jason yeah. cry. He talks about that story every time. So they definitely yes. have history. So yeah, there's and look at Deion Sanders. He played for both teams and won Super Bowls with both teams. How incredible uh, is that? Uh, did Owens do that, or what's his face? Owens, uh, hell no, Owens didn't do that. Oh, he didn't play for. Are you thinking Jerry Rice? No, 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 no. The Terrell Owens, he didn't play for both. Uh, no, I Dallas think no, no, I think he did play for both the Niners and the Cowboys, yeah. but I don't think he won Super Bowls with either. No, no, no. I just you know, yeah, they have yeah. All that history. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I get you there. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Uh, what was the game where he stuck the? ball in the middle of the field on the Dallas Star. Was oh, that, that was a big one. Yeah, that was when they were in Dallas, and it was, a, I can't remember if this was a regular season or if it was a playoff game, but I remember he ran to the center of the yes, of the star, yes. the, the the vaunted star in uh, Dallas, yes. and spiked that ball, and all the Dallas guys came over there and tackled yeah. him, and it was, it was yeah. odd. It was like, oh my God. No, I would like to see that because there's yeah. bad blood. Yeah, They're Terrell, well, Terrell so. Owens also has yeah. the one of the best celebrations where he hit his cell phone in the end of an end zone, so when he scored, saw, he got yeah. the thing out. I was like, who comes up with that kind of celebration? That was insane. Oh, you got to be pretty sure you're going to get there. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, had, <laughs> yeah, he probably had to have a cell phone in, in each one thinking, yeah. I got to score. Just leave it. Exactly. Yeah, just leave it there. Exactly. And did you see that poor guy on the linesman? Oh, my God. Uh, who was this? Was it Alvin Kamara? No, it was a running back that ran out of bounds. Bowled him over or something? And it didn't bowl him over. You broke his leg. You could see his leg. Tw- oh, his leg shit. was going the wrong way. He's laying there just, ah! And I'm like, oh, my God. Half those guys are... 75. I know, right? so no They're not made to get hit like that. It was no. brutal. No. All right, man. So, hey, right, uh, parting thoughts. We're end. getting punchy. It's very cold out here. It rained today. Um, uh, so, parting thoughts. Um, last thoughts about uh, the games co- or the matches coming up. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, it's the same story all year, I think. Give me this. Matters. Give me this. You know Everything what? matters. Okay. Sorry. I was going to say, give yeah, me this. Yeah. Give me this. Don't give me names. Just give me the high score of any team. Of uh, the high, who's going to be the high, what, what's the highest scoring team going to score, and what's the lowest team scoring team is going to be this week? Yeah, just give me two numbers. One seventy five. One seventy five is the high. Okay. Eighty nine. And eighty nine. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go one ninety nine. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to go eighty two. <laughs> Oh, okay. so we'll see. I Who's hope I'm not the 82. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Be. I want to change my answer. <laughs> okay. If for some reason Cat can't get to a computer, <laughs> I'm going to go 54. Exactly. Like you're going to go low. No, just go with what is it? The zero dollar one with zero. <laughs> just go with zero. All right. So for so so for Kevin Heath, this is Matt Dickey Come saying, on, Kat, get Kev, that lineup done. Kev, take us home. Yeah, Cat, get your lineup done. All right, Happy now wait. Happy Christmas. Merry and Christmas. Yes. Merry ho, well, we ho, still got ho. we got a couple of weeks. We'll get to that. Stay merry, Bone Storm. That's Stay right. Merry. Stay merry. Okay. Adios, okay. muchachos, and meaning <laughs> for all. And then wait. Last time I forgot to stop this. <laughs>